Hello everyone, welcome to Biotechnica. Today I have come up with yet another video that is going to be very informative and beneficial for all CSIR and GATE aspirants. So here after the complete detailed analysis of both the subjects, today I am going to discuss with you what's the common and overlapping syllabus or sections between CSIR Net Life Sciences as well as GATE Biotechnology. So let's proceed on to the video and understand the same. So if you see the GATE Biotechnology syllabus, the GATE Bi BT syllabus is fully divided or categorized into seven sections. The first section being engineering mathematics where you have to learn and understand topics such as linear algebra, calculus, differential equation, probability and statistics as well as numerical method. Section 2 deals with general biotechnology that includes three major subparts such as biochemistry, microbiology as well as immunology. Section 3 deals with genetics that also includes evolutionary biology, cellular where you have to learn about cell biology as well as molecular biology. Section 4 deals with the fundamentals of biological engineering where you have to learn about the thermodynamics as well as the metabolism part. Section 5 is a totally new section that covers with bioprocess bio engineering as well as process biotechnology. Section 6 deals with plant, animal and microbial biotechnology specifically, whereas 7 section deals with RDT as well as other tools in biotechnology. So let's see all the sections in detail and what's the topics that are similar for both CSI and Net Life Sciences as well as GATE BT. So firstly, we will be starting with the section second that is general biotechnology and here I am skipping with section first that is engineering mathematics because this section we don't have in CSI and Net Life Sciences syllabus. So you have to cover this section separately. So firstly coming to the biochemistry section under general biotechnology and let's see what are the topics that are similar for both GATE BT biochemistry as well as CSI and Net life sciences. So the topic that I'm going to show you is not the complete syllabus. Again, it's a topic that fall under both CSI and Net Life Sciences as well as GATE Biotechnology. So if you see the GATE syllabus, you will find a topic that is biochemist, biomolecule structure and function where you have to learn about all different carbohydrate, proteins, vitamins, what are different types of amino acid as well as the regulation of this metabolism of carbohydrate, lipids, amino acid and nucleic acid. So along with biomolecule, you also have to learn the biomolecule ka metabolism and their regulation. Also what is enzymes, their classification, what is the catalytic and regulatory strategies of the enzyme, what is its kinetic where you have to deal with MM equation that is michaelis manton equation, enzyme inhibitions such as competitive, non-competitive and uncompetitive innovation. So this is about GATE BT syllabus. So let's see the same topics or equivalent topics that are in CSIR syllabus. So that is composition, structure and function of biomolecule that is carbohydrate, lipid, protein, nucleic acid as well as vitamins. Principle of catalysis such as enzyme and enzyme kinetics, enzyme regulation, mechanism of enzyme catalytic where you have to learn about isozymes as well. Confirmation of protein, what is the confirmation of nucleic acid where you have to learn about A, B and Z confirmation of DNA, what is tRNA as well as microRNA. Stability of protein as well as nucleic acid, along with it you also have to learn about the metabolism of all these biomolecules. So all these topics are equivalent to each other. So if you see CSIR unit 1 that is biochemistry, so it includes all the biomolecules as well as its metabolism. So if you have learned all these topics for CSIR, so that will be a great help for you to write GATE Biotechnology exam. Also GATE Biotechnology includes or this biochemistry includes topics such as biological membrane where you have to learn about plasma membrane, its structure, what are membrane channels as well as pumps and along with it you also have to focus for the concept of membrane potential. That is equivalent to membrane structure and function as well as electrical properties of membrane that is a part of 2A subunit of CSIR Net Life Sciences syllabus. And also photosynthesis that is equivalent to 6A part of 
photosynthesis under CSIR as well as 7D part that has nervous system which includes action potential part that is equivalent to action potential under gate biotechnology biochemistry syllabus. So these are all equivalent topics that are there in CSIR as well as gate biotechnology biochemistry part. Now let's come to the next section of general biotechnology that is biochemistry and see what are equivalent topics under both of these exams. So if you see the 2E part under CSIR that means unit 2 E sub part. It has one topic like growth, yield and characteristic as well as the strategies of cell division. That is equivalent to a topic called as microbial growth and nutrition under gate BT microbiology syllabus as well as 4A and 6C part. So 4A means cell communication and signaling unit. So it includes host parasite interaction as well as 6C part which includes nitrogen metabolism. That is similar to nitrogen metabolism or you can say nitrogen fixation separately as well as microbial diseases and host parasite interactions under gate BT syllabus. So this is all about microbiology syllabus. Now let's come to the immunology. So this immunology section is very similar for both CSI and life sciences and gate BT where you have to focus on some important topics such as innate and adaptive immunity, humoral and cell mediated immunity where you have to focus on B and T cell respectively, antibody structures and function, what is the molecular basis of antibody diversity where you have to focus on VDJ recombination, T cell and B cell development, what are antigen antibody reactions like ELISA, yeah, different antibody reactions are there, what is complement system, what are primary and secondary lymphoid organ, what is class 1 and class 2nd MSC molecule, what is antigen processing and presentation, what is polyclonal and monoclonal antibody and what are the process of synthesis of this monoclonal antibody and the cells involved. What is the regulation of immune response? What is hypersensitivity, autoimmunity as well as immunization along with vaccines? So this syllabus is same for both CSIR net as well as gate BT. So if you have already prepared for CSIR and you have written CSIR exam, so that will be a help for you. So you don't have to prepare this section again for gate biotechnology syllabus. Now coming to the section 3 that deals with genetics, cellular as well as molecular biology. So if you see the CSIR syllabus unit 2, so it includes protein sorting and translation mechanism. So mechanism of sorting and regulation of intracellular transport. So along with it, it also includes 2B part, structural organization and function of intracellular organelles where you have to focus on different types of cell organelles that are present inside the cell. All these topic or you can say 2A and 2B part that is equivalent to topics such as prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell structure where you have to learn the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes, what is cell cycle and cell growth control, different checkpoints, what is the post translational modification as well as protein tra trafficking that is under gate BT syllabus. Now coming to the next part that is unit 3 of CSIR syllabus that includes molecular biology. So topics such as DNA replication, repair and recombination that is 3A part, RNA synthesis and processing that is 3B part, protein synthesis and processing that is 3C part as well as control of gene expression at transcription and translation level that is 3D part under CSIR. That is equivalent to molecular structure of genes and chromosome under gate BT where you have also learned about mutations and mutagenesis, what is the regulation of gene expression in prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes, what is nucleic acid, like you have to learn about DNA replication, transcription, what is the splicing process, translation as well as their regulatory mechanism. What is non-coding as well as microRNA, RNA interference as well as DNA damage and repair. So if you see, if you are preparing completely for unit 3, that will be a uh, great help because you are covering a major chunk under gate BT genetics part or you can say molecular biology part. Now coming to 4B and 4C, 4D part that includes cell signaling, cellular communication as well as apoptosis. So if you are covering CSIR 4B, 4C, 4D completely that means you are covering yourself for cell signaling and cell transduction 
extra cellular matrix as well as cell death and autophagy. So this is all about the cellular and molecular biology part under section 3. Now what about genetics part? So genetics that is unit 8 under CSIR and unit 11 evolution. So this genetics includes evolutionary biology as well. So again this topic or you can say this section is similar for both gate BT as well as CSIR net life sciences. So let's see what are the topics that you have to commonly prepare for both of these exams. So the first topic is Mendelian inheritance. Second is gene interaction, third is complementation, fourth is linkage, recombination as well as chromosome mapping, fifth is extra chromosomal inheritance, sixth is microbial genetics where you have to learn about three major concepts such as transformation, conjugation as well as transduction. What is horizontal gene transfer as well as transposable elements where you have to learn about transposition mechanism, what are the different genetic disorders, what is population genetics, epigenetics, selection and inheritance, adaptive and neutral evolution. Now if you see the evolutionary part has been started, genetic drift as well as species and species. So if you are covering unit 8 and unit 11 of CSIR, that means you are covering yourself for the topics that fall under gate BT syllabus as well. Now let's come to the section 4 that includes fundamentals of biological engineering. So if you see the CSIS syllabus, you have topics such as fundamentals like where you have to learn about pH, buffer, reaction kinetics, thermodynamics as well as colligative property and along with it you have to learn about the metabolism of carbohydrates such as glycolysis, oxidative, phosphorylation, coupled reaction, group transfer, biological energy transducer. So all these topics are equivalent under gate BT syllabus like classical thermodynamics and bioenergetics, laws of thermodynamics, solution thermodynamics, phase equilibria or reaction equilibria, energetics of metabolic pathways such as oxidation and reduction reaction. So once you are completing unit 1 of CSIR where you are learning about and understanding all the metabolism concept, what is pH and buffer, so you are covering all these topics for gate BT syllabus. So now let's come to the section 5 that is bioprocess engineering and process technology. So here you have to focus for bioprocess technology and all other numerical parts. So this section is not at all included under CSI Net Life Sciences means this section has to be prepared separately for gate biotechnology syllabus. So section 1 that is engineering mathematics along with section 5 that is bioprocess technology. So this section you have to prepare separately for gate biotechnology if you are writing this exam 2023. So now let's come to the section 6 that is specifically plant, animal and microbial biotechnology. So if you see CSIR unit 6 that deals with the plant physiology means that part will be equivalent to plant biotechnology part under gate BT. So now let's see what are the topics that are similar under both of these syllabus. So 60 and 60 part that include plant hormone as well as secondary metabolites. So that is equivalent to topic like plant growth regulators as well as aliceters under gate BT. Also 12A part that deals with applied biology where you are learning about microbial fermentation, production of a small and macromolecules where you are just learning about the overview of all these uh, topics under CSIS syllabus but in gate BT you have to thorough with the details of all these topics that include microbes production of biomass primary and secondary metabolites such as biofuels, bioplastics, what are the industrial enzymes as well as antibiotics that are produced by microorganisms. Also the large scale production and purification of recombinant proteins and metabolites, what are clinical food and industrial microbiology, screening strategies for new products. So all these topics you have to learn in detail. So for 12b, that includes tissue and cell culture methods for plants. So here you have to focus all these topics in detail under gate syllabus like totipotency, what is regeneration of plant, what is tissue culture method and cell suspension culture system, what are artificial seeds, what is somaclonal variation, protoplast as well as protoplast fusion as well as somatic hybrid and cybrid formation. So now 12B part that again deals with tissue and 
सेल कल्चर मैथड्स फॉर एनिमल्स हियर यू हैव टू फोकस फॉर एनिमल बायो टेक्नोलॉजी सो दैट इज इक्वल टू टॉपिक अंडर गेट सिलेबस लाइक सेल कल्चर मीडिया कॉम्पोजिशन एंड ग्रोथ कंडीशन वॉट इज एनिमल सेल एंड ट्रिश्यू प्रिजर्वेशन वॉट इज एनकोरेज एंड नॉन एनकोरेज डिपेंडेंट सेल कल्चर एज वेल एज द काइनेटिक्स ऑफ सेल ग्रोथ दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी यू हैव टू फोकस फॉर बोथ एक्सपोनशियल एज वेल एज लॉजिस्टिक ग्रोथ कर्व 12c part that deals with transgenic animals so here you have to focus for topics such as transgenic plants direct and indirect method of gene transfer method selection marker what is reporter gene what is plastid transformation method and along with this you also have to learn about agrobacterium mediated gene transfer so 12e part that deals with bio resources and uses of biodiversity under csir net life sciences syllabus that is equivalent to the topic under gate bt syllabus like plant products of industrial importance so this is all about section 6 now let's come to the last section of gate biotechnology syllabus that deals with rdt that is recombinant dna technology and along with other tools in biotechnology means you here you have to focus for unit 13 of csir net life sciences so now let's see what all topics are same for both csir net unit 13 along with gate biotechnology section 7 part so firstly coming to the 13a part that deals with uh, methods in biology so you have topics such as molecular biology and recombinant dna methods under csir syllabus that is equivalent to topic like rdt in gate syllabus again 13a part that is molecular biology and recombinant dna method such as molecular tools like polymerase chain reaction dna rna labeling and sequencing what is southern and northern blotting in situ hybridization dna fingerprinting rapd rflp as well as site directed mutagenesis so all these topics are included or given separately under gate bt syllabus but if you see csir syllabus this topic is given like recombinant dna methods that is similar to gate bt so now coming to 13b part that is histochemical as well as immunotechnics under csir that is similar to enzymatic assays immuno assays like elisa ria immunohistochemistry immuno blotting as well as flow cytometry under gate syllabus and 13c part that deals with biophysical methods such as spectroscopy so here in gate bt you have to cover all these topics like uv visible cd ir fluorescence ftir ms as well as nmr where you have to focus on the principles as well as the working mechanism of all this spectroscopic technique 13d part that deals with stat statistical methods under csir syllabus is equivalent to the topics like probability and statistics under gate syllabus 12h part that is biosensor is equivalent to topic like biosensing and biosensor in gate biotechnology syllabus also for 12d section where we are just covering the overview under csir syllabus but you have to learn about genomics as well as bioinformatics in detail under gate bt syllabus and also 8k part as well as 2c part again over overview we are covering under csir syllabus and here we have to learn about rdt mechanisms as well as transposons under gate biotechnology syllabus so this is all about the topic similarities that is between csir net life sciences as well as gate biotechnology and we have seen what are what all topics that are equivalently falling under both of these syllabus So at last, I would just say that plan your studies accordingly, and uh, firstly cover the overlapping section that is between CSI and Net Life Sciences as well as Gate Biotechnology. So now I have come to the end of my session. So I hope the information that I shared you about the similarities between both CSI and Net Life Sciences as well as Gate Biotechnology syllabus was beneficial for all of you. And if you find the information was interesting. do like share and subscribe to our channel that is biotechnica meet you in the next video till then bye bye take care keep learning